Hey everybody, it's Maddie here. Today I'm going to show you how you can crochet this cute little sunflower coaster. These are super fun and they're pretty quick to make. You could even like hang these up on your wall as a wall decoration. I think that would be so pretty. Like imagine that on a wall. Gorgeous. I haven't seen that done before, but I think it'd be really cute. All right, let's begin crocheting. Okay, to begin making our sunflower coaster, we're going to start with our brown yarn for the center of the flower and we're going to make a magic ring. And to make a magic ring, you're going to take the tail end of your yarn and you're going to hold that in your left hand. From here, we're going to wrap the yarn around two fingers like this and we're going to make an X with the yarn that is on top of our hand and then from here we're going to take our crochet hook we're going to go under this first loop and then we're going to grab that second loop and we're going to pull it and twist our crochet hook up like this and then we're going to grab this long strand here we're going to yarn over and pull through that loop that we have on our hook there we go and then when you slide off your fingers, you should have a magic ring that looks like this. If you're having a difficult time making the magic ring, I do have a more detailed tutorial on how to make a magic ring and that will be linked in the description if you wanna watch that. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and chain three. And to do a chain, you're going to yarn over and then we're gonna pull that yarn through our loop. Just like that. And that's gonna be our first chain. Yarn over and pull through. Second chain yarn over and pull through. So now we have our third chain. From here, we're going to make 17 double crochets in our magic ring. So to make a double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook through the magic ring, yarn over and pull out a loop. So then you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last two. And that right there is a double crochet. I'll go ahead and show you again, yarn over, insert your hook through the magic ring, yarn over, pull out a loop, so then you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So there's our second double crochet. Let's go ahead and do another double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook through the magic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last two. So now we have three double crochets right here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the 17 double crochets in our magic ring and then I'll meet back up with you to show you how we'll finish off this first round. Okay, I just finished the 17 double crochets and now from here we can go ahead and tighten up that magic ring and to do that you're just going to take that tail end of your yarn and when you pull on that it will tighten up that magic ring like this. So just go ahead and pull that all the way tight and ta-da, it's magic. That's nice and tight now. So from here, we're going to slip stitch into the top chain that we made at the very beginning. As you can see, these are the three chains here. So I'm just gonna insert my hook through that top chain. I'm gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. And then we're gonna put this loop in through here, just like that. And that is a slip stitch. We're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're gonna do a double crochet in that same place that we slip stitched into. So in that top chain, we're gonna put a double crochet in there. Yarn over, insert your hook through that space. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So you should have the three chains in that double crochet in that top chain that we had slip stitched into. For row two, we're gonna do two double crochets in each of the stitches all the way around. So in this first stitch, which is right here, we're gonna do a double crochet. And then another double crochet. So yarn over and do your double crochet. So we have two double crochets in that same stitch. In the next stitch, we're gonna do the same thing. So let's do one double crochet and then two double crochets, just like that. And then we're just gonna repeat that by doing two double crochets in each of the stitches all the way around till we make it to the end of round two. Okay, I made it to the end of the round and at this point your stitch count should be 36. Also the three chains that we made at the beginning of the round does count as a double crochet. So go ahead and count all your stitches and make sure that you have 36 before we move on with the next step. From here we're gonna slip stitch into that top chain that we made at the beginning of this round. So we're gonna insert a hook through that top chain. We're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. And then we're gonna put this loop in through here just like that. And now we can go ahead and cut our yarn 
And then to fasten this off, we just need to pull our hook up, just like this. And then it'll create a knot right there after you pull that nice and tight. So now we have the center of our sunflower. Now we're gonna attach our sunflower petal color to the center of the flower. And to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna put it through any one of the stitches on the outside of our circle. So just in any one of those stitches. And then you're going to take your yarn and you're gonna put it on the hook and then you're just gonna pull that through like this. So then that piece of yarn is just threaded through one of those stitches. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and tie a knot, make that nice and tight. And then we're gonna stick our hook back through that same stitch. We're gonna yarn over and pull our hook out of the stitch. So then we should have a loop on our hook. And now we've attached our second color to our coaster. So to begin round three, we're gonna start by chaining three. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna do a double crochet in this space right here that the three chains are connected to. So go ahead and yarn over and do a double crochet in that same stitch, just like this. Next, we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to put two double crochets in this next stitch right here. So let's go ahead and do our first double crochet. There's one, and two. So you should have something that looks like this. The chain three, and then a double crochet, chain five, and then two double crochets in that stitch. From here, we're gonna skip the next two stitches, and we're gonna go into this third stitch, and we're gonna do two double crochets in there. So not this one, or this one, but this stitch. We're gonna go ahead and put a double crochet, and then we're gonna put another double crochet in that same stitch. Like this. Next, we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then next, we're gonna put two double crochets in this next stitch right here. So let's do our first double crochet. There's one. and two, and now we've completed two petals. When you make it all the way around, you should have a total of nine petals, and we're just gonna be repeating the same thing for each of the petals. So, after you've completed one petal, we're gonna skip two stitches, one, two, and we're gonna go into that third, and we're gonna do two double crochets in there. One, and two. Next, we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna put two double crochets in the next stitch. There's one and two. So now we've made our third petal. And you're just gonna go ahead and repeat this till you make it all the way around to the end of this round. And you should have a total of nine petals. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how we can finish off this round. Okay, I just finished making all the petals and as you can see, there are nine petals, which is exactly what you want. So from here, we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three that we made at the beginning of the round, just like we've been doing in the last two rounds where we just slip stitch into that top chain. So we're gonna insert a hook through the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then we're gonna put this loop in through here just like that. And now we can begin on the final round. So from here, we're gonna slip stitch into this big area that we have right here, where we had done the five chains. So we're gonna insert a hook through that big area and go ahead and do a slip stitch. We're gonna go ahead and chain one. And then we're going to put five double crochets in this space. So let's go ahead and do our first double crochet in this big chain five space. So there's one double crochet, two, three, four, and five. At this point, I like to go ahead and just grab all those stitches and just pull them like this, just so they're out of the way, because we still have to do some more stitches in this space. So after you've completed the five double crochets, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna chain three. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna do a half double crochet in this first chain that we just did. So to do a half double crochet, we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook through that first chain right here. We're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. So then you should have three loops on your hook. And then you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna pull through all three of those loops. 
just like this. And that right there is a half double crochet. After we've done the half double crochet, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do five more double crochets in this big space. So let's go ahead and do our first double crochet. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And now we've completed one petal, just like that. And we're gonna be repeating this on each of the petals all the way around. So after you've completed this first petal, so after you've completed the first petal, we're going to do a single crochet in this next chain five space, or this next petal. And to do a single crochet, what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, so then you should have two loops in your hook, and then we're gonna yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And that is a single crochet. So after the single crochet, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do five double crochets in that same space, just like we had done in the previous petal. Let's go ahead and do our first double crochet. There's one, two, and five. And then again, like I showed you in this previous petal, I like to grab all those stitches and just kind of pull them this way. So that way they're out of the way when we come back and we'll do five more double crochets. So after the first five double crochets, we're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're gonna do the half double crochet in this first chain right here. So yarn over, insert your hook through that chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So there's the half double crochet again. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do five more double crochets and we'll be finished with this second petal. One and five. And now we've completed two of the petals. And you just wanna go ahead and repeat that on each of the petals all the way around. And to join our yarn into this next petal, we're gonna do that with the single crochet that I showed you in this second petal. And I'll go ahead and show you again. So you're just gonna insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop so you have two loops on your hook and then you yarn over and pull through both loops. And then you can go ahead, and then you can go ahead and repeat the steps that I showed you for both of these petals where we do the five double crochets, chain three, and then the half double crochet, and then the last five double crochets. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the petals all the way around and I'll show you how we can finish off our sunflower coaster. Okay, I just finished doing all of the petals, so now it's pretty much done. All we need to do now is slip stitch into one of these stitches over here. It doesn't really matter which one. I think I'm gonna slip stitch into this previous slip stitch that we had done. So I'm just gonna insert my hook and go ahead and do a slip stitch. And then to finish it off, I'm going to chain one and trim my yarn, pull my hook up like this and go ahead and tighten that so it's in a nice tight knot. And now we have our finished coaster. The only thing left we gotta do now is sew in the rest of these ends and you'll have your finished coaster. I'm gonna start with this brown yarn first. So with my yarn needle, I'm gonna go ahead and thread my yarn through it, just like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sew the yarn through a few of the stitches. I also like to thread the yarn through pretty tight stitches so that way I know it's not gonna come undone later. And then you can cut it I'm gonna go ahead and sew up the rest of the ends and then you can see the final product. Ta-da! And there is the finished coaster. It's so pretty. I love it. They're gorgeous. This is such a quick, fun, fall kind of themed crochet project and I loved making them. They only take like 20 minutes to make too. You could also do these in so many different colors and it doesn't have to be a sunflower. You could probably make this look like a daisy by making like a yellow center and then the petals white and that will look really pretty too. Comment down below what color you're making your sunflower or flower if it's not gonna be a sunflower. And if you wanna learn how to crochet a tiny pumpkin, you can watch this video next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!